Adultery is a social ill that not only breaks up established families, but also communities. Though it is not necessarily a crime, it is considered moral decadence and its effects are far reaching than we could ever expect. This is the case in today's homicide file. This story begins on the 24th of June, 2023, at Iron Mask Farm in Mazowie, when a feminine man followed his wife into the bush. He had been acutely suspicious of her movements, and on this early morning at around 6 a.m., he trailed behind her to see where she was going. He was in for an appalling discovery. He caught his wife, Fungai Nyamorenje, red-handed, having sexual intercourse with a married man named Chawona Chikonje from the same village. The husband was disgusted with his wife's behavior, but did not use violence as a resolution. He calmly left them in the bush and went to inform Tichawana's wife, Precious Machivenika. When she was made aware of her husband's infidelity, she could not stomach it. She was infuriated and confronted her husband, and he could not deny the allegations. Visibly devastated, she then decided to end her own life by drinking paraquat, a herbicide, but she could not find it in their house. She then stumbled upon an okapi knife and ran off to Fungai's homestead to kill herself in front of her husband's girlfriend. The husband feared that she would attack Fungai with the okapi knife, so he ran after her, apprehended her, and dragged her back to their home. She managed to escape once more, running to Fungai's homestead, but her husband in anger heavily assaulted her and in defense, she stabbed him on his thigh. When he fell to the ground, she ran off and Tichawana still pursued her, though injured, and she was rescued by Mushanita Joko, a neighbor who locked Precious in her house. Tichawana was bleeding profusely from the stab wound, and in a few minutes, he fell and lost consciousness. The villagers were made away and took him to Concession Hospital, where he was pronounced dead on arrival. The pathologist, Dr. Solomon Muzenda, conducted an autopsy on the 5th of July and confirmed that Tichawana had died from hemorrhagic shock due to the stab wound. Precious, though pregnant, was charged with murder of her husband. When she was tried on the 16th of January 2024, she was now nine months pregnant. The defense outlined that she had zero intention to murder her happy and it was evidenced by her stabbing him on the thigh to escape his beatings. The judge, Jay Mutebezi, found her not guilty of murder but guilty of culpable homicide. He sentenced her to two years in jail. He said that she should not have used violence to solve the problem and she was sentenced to two years in jail. This case is a stark reminder that violence should never be used to solve any conflict. And may Tichawana's soul continue to rest in peace.